Hello, good evening and welcome to Watchdog Wargaming. Tonight I'll be reviewing the Hobby Boss 148 scale US M4A3 E8 Sherman tank. Uh, this is from the Korean War period. The M4A3 E8 is a variant of the M4 Sherman that was made in August 1944. Roughly 2,617 of this particular variant were made. It had very, um, one of its well-known nicknames was the EZ-8 by its crew. And for those film buffs out there, this is the same tank that featured in the film, The Fury. Uh, it has a 76 millimeter high velocity gun. Um, it's got a, a welded hull. Uh, in Korea, it was actually called the Old Reliable and that was more uh, by the US Marine Corps out there. Um, it had a crew of five. Um, had a, its armor was 76 millimeter, uh, roughly three inches thick. Um, and the, the, the main reason why it was painted with a tiger's face on it was for psychological warfare reasons. So from 1950 to 1951, it was the year of the tiger. And with North Korean and Chinese soldiers being very, very superstitious, um, it was... <laughs> The idea of having a tank coming towards you looked at, looked at, painted as a tiger looked very imitating. Unfortunately, in 1951 to 1952, um, it was the year of the rabbit. And uh, unfortunately, you don't see many rabbit painted tanks. Never mind, let's uh, get on to the model itself. Like I said, it's, it's a Hobby Boss 148 scale tank, uh, ages from 14 uh, up and upwards. So, um, yet to recall a uh, nice diagram on the actual front of, front of the box, uh, which you can use for as a um, diagram for painting later on. Uh, it's actually, um, which way, where did this one come from? Yeah, this is actually uh, came, uh, this is an eBay purchase, but it came all the way from Poland. And um, I paid probably, uh, I think it was under £10 for this pay more for the postage than actually the uh, the actual model itself so there is bargains out there to uh, if you know where to look for and again with the tiger face on it it's it's something slightly different um a hell of us of uh, paint this up later on um, um have you seen my eve earlier e um videos uh, i'm currently building a u.s marine for u.s marine corps force for bolt action korea and this is going to be one of the uh, the main tanks for for my force. Right. Okay. So let, um, let's um, no further ado. Let's open up and see what's inside. So we have um, a transfer set here. Um, you can see the stars on it. Uh, name of the some tanks. The Brigade markings, um, tiger face, and the actual tiger teeth. Um, so the premise on this is that you actually paint the actual yellow and black stripes um, for the tank, and then you can actually use the transfers, which look pretty decent. Uh, okay. So some um, etchings as well. So uh, I'm not sure what those are. It looks like um, um, fuel tank um, jerry can holders, but I'm sure the instructions will uh, tell me what they are for. Oh, quite in depth um, painting and marking guide. So you can have it as a basic green tank. Uh, or the one with the the tiger face. And here's the instructions: 148 scale US M4A3 E8 tank, Korean War. Again, very in depth. Lots of actual parts with this tank it doesn't actually say how many parts are actually on there but um, looks pretty easy oh he's even given you uh, um, optional um, baggage and stowage as well duffel bags attach the duffel bags as you would like so 
So with most models, you start off with the road wheels going onto the body. Gearbox housing, engine housing. Then going on to hatches and stowage, such things as um, your hammers, your barrel support. Oh, and, it, and even as you're going around, it actually explains what color the uh, color sh um, suggestions as well. Matching your hulls together onto the uh, onto the turret, the turret ring, your mantle, barrel. Um, armed with a 50 caliber machine gun, or you can actually put a 0.30 um, machine gun on there as well. I think I'll go for the 50 cal myself. And we'll have a look at the tracks later on because I'm not sure what uh, type of tracks these are, whether well, it's your typical sort of revel type of ones where it's single tracks and you can have that nightmare to put together, or it's a single um, rubber banded one. Hopefully it's that that one. Ah, okay, that's lucky. So yes, it's your it's your rubber banded track. So none of this individual tracks to links to, to make or anything, which is that's brilliant. So I have Mark One A One teeth. Let's open this and see what's inside. Keep the bag for later on. Yep. So it's a nice cast, nice plastic on there as well. So it's, um, like I said, you've got the, uh, the the hull, upper part of the hull, all your uh, your hatches, your barrels, your barrel. Very good, yeah. The level detail is very, very good as well. And that's um, optional stowage, so that's got your um, rucksacks and looks like tarpaulings and bags. Again, these could possibly be, uh, if you had any spare, you could possibly use these with uh, any 28mm figures that you have later on. And then you've got your turret and your turret ring. And there's your mantle, and you've got the uh, canvas uh, design on the actual mantle itself, which is very, very good. Uh, like I mentioned, this is actually a, a welded hull, which uh, gave it more strength than the actual cast hull. Oh. There's the actual base. Put that back on there. Oh, okay, I'm not sure what that is, but it looks like you've got the engine covers, the louvers on the back, so it gives you two types, two options. I think for uh, a beginner, this might be a little bit advanced. This is more for an intermediate model, I think. But uh, it certainly, as a basic tank, would give you something to get your uh, get yourself into the hobby. Yeah, this is all the road wheels, in the individual road wheels, suspension. Yeah, the HVSS suspension. And this also had wider tracks as well, so that made it um, when it was crossing sort of wet and boggy ground. The yeah, actual sure, um, it didn't dig in as much. Yeah, so there we have it. So this is the Hobby Boss 148 scale M4A3 E8, EZ8, in its um, Korean colours. So by the 1950s, this would have been a um, certainly an, um, an older, older tank in use. 
Uh, there was other variants of it as well. So uh, one had a howitzer, and I believe there was actually a flame flower variant of it uh, this as well. So, uh, yeah, great. So rubber tracks, there's always a pretty bonus, that one. Lots of uh, instructions on there as well. Um, I have got other 148 scale uh, tanks from um, um, Hobby Boss, and which has got, actually got driver, uh, an interior and um, an engine bay as well. Um, and this one doesn't, so it's, um, which, which is a shame really, but um, Oh, okay, so yes, it does give you two um, engine decks. Um, so there's two variants. One with uh, apparently uh, different heavy duty hinges. Okay. Again, the guide. Metal etchings. And the transfers. Or photo etched parts. So now that there we are so that is the hobby bo hobby boss 148 scale us m4 a3 e8 tank for, for the korean war now so this will be on my ne next to-do list for my painting so i'm just finishing my us marine corps troops and then this will be their support so i hope you've enjoyed that uh, this unboxing and review of the this particular tank and I hope you join me again. Much appreciated. Take care. Thank you.